All right, everybody, here's that GCF worksheet. GCF stands for Greatest Common Factor. This is very similar to the stuff that we've been doing on our number corner calendar updates. Today, we're gonna task you to do it. When we do this, we are practicing multiplication facts. We're also practicing our ability to divide and we're working with fractions. We are hitting up several different standards in one shot. Let's go through how to do this. First, at the top of the document, you'll find there's some directions. Simplify the fractions. List the factors for each number. Find the GCF, greatest common factor. Divide the numerator N and the denominator D by that GCF F to reduce. Enter the simplified fraction. Now, I set this up for you as a document that you can make your own copy of. Go to File, Make a Copy. Title it, not copy of WSGCF. You would just title it with whatever your number is. Like my number is zero. So I would put zero WSGCF. I would then click on OK, save it, and then upload it to me uh, once I've got it done. You can edit your own copy. You cannot edit this copy. This copy is a viewable copy. So when you go to type it, it's not going to work. Don't send me a request for access. I'm not going to give it to you. Let's look at how we do this. Now I did a lot of the leg work for you. I set everything up for you right down here in such a way that you can just enter the numbers. You don't even need to worry about, hey, I can't make a division symbol. Look, I made one for you. Mr. Lucas, I don't know how to write numbers as a fraction. Look, I did it for you. You're just gonna replace those. We're gonna do this first one together so that you can see, all right? I'll try to go slow. So our first fraction is seven out of 21. Seven over 21. What I'm gonna list here first is the factors for both the numerator, seven, and the denominator, 21. So I'm gonna click right there. I'm just gonna start typing. What are the factors for seven? Well, it's one, because one is a factor of everything. So for every one of these, one should always be the first one you're listing. Seven, can I get to seven by multiplying by two? I sure cannot. Can I get to seven by multiplying by three? How about four? Five? Absolutely not. And seven, seven's actually a prime number. The only factors for the number seven are one and seven. 21, on the other hand, 21 is not a prime number. It has one factor of one, because again, one is a factor of everything. So for every one of these, you should always have one listed. And then, not two, because you can't get to 21 by multiplying by two, because 21 is not an even number. But I can get to 21 by multiplying by three. Three times seven makes 21. I can't get to 20 by multiplying by four or five, but I can get there by multiplying by seven. I skipped six. One times 21 makes 21. Three times seven makes 21. Those are all the factors for 21. Now, what is the greatest common factor, the GCF between seven and 21? You're gonna look at which number is the highest number that they both have in common. That number is seven. I would like you to change the color of this number to something so that we know, when I say we, so that I know that you mean to say that that is the greatest common factor. Now we're gonna go over to the next portion which is gonna say divide. I'm gonna replace this N. N stands for the numerator. I'm gonna replace this N with the numerator. The numerator here was seven, so backspace and seven. 7 divided by F, F is going to be that GCF, that factor, which we just figured out over here. We highlighted it. It's 7. So I'm going to change that F to a 7. What is 7 divided by 7? I'm going to replace this N with the number 1 because 7 divided by 7 is 1. I'm going to do that again for the denominators. Now, the denominator here was 21, so I'm going to change this D to the number 21, not 221. 21 because the denominator here is 21, so the denominator here should also be 21. Now, F is that factor, that GCF, that co greatest common factor, which was the number seven, so I'm gonna put another seven right in there, and then I'm gonna have to divide 21 divided by seven. Well, I know that seven times three makes 21, so 21 divided by seven would be three. I have now divided the numerator and, and the denominator, D, by that GCF, F, to reduce. I've reduced it. Now I've got to enter the simplest fraction. Right over here, I entered a fraction format for you. So all you have to do is click on it. You can see my cursor is behind the D. So I'm going to delete the D. And I'm going to replace it with my new denominator, which is not 21. My new denominator, which is 3. 
Number three right here gets transferred right over there. If three goes there, I bet you can guess what goes on the top here. That number one gets transferred right on over there, and your fraction becomes one third. Seven out of 21 is equivalent to one third. I know this because if I take three times seven, I get to 21, and one times seven gets to 21. Or if I divide seven times seven, I get to one, and 21 divided by seven gets me to three. You're gonna do that for this entire sheet. If you're like, hey, wait a minute, Mr. Lucas, I still don't understand. Then you're gonna pause this video, you're gonna rewind, and you're gonna watch it again. And if you still don't understand it, then watch the video again. And if you've watched this video three times and you still don't get it, then you should send me an email. We'll meet, we'll work at this together. Your fractions are seven out of 21, which we've already done, so you should have no problem getting that squared off. Six out of 36, eight out of 32, 10 out of 40, 14 out of 35, four out of 24, eight out of 28, and that's it. You have this assignment that is going to be due on Monday. So Monday morning, wait a minute, not Monday morning. There's no school on Monday, Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. This assignment is done and shared with me. You can either make a copy of it digitally and share that document with me, or you can print it, work at it on a piece of paper, and send it on back to me. I don't care how you folks do it, as long as you get it done, this assignment is due on Tuesday. Have a great morning, everybody.